uh, welcome to the Taurus booth. Uh, we design, engineer, and manufacture energy storage and energy management products for commercial and industrial applications. Our products are vertically integrated to the utility industry. At the 2025 Battery Show in Michigan, hundreds of companies gathered to display the latest breakthroughs in energy technology. Among the most talked about innovations were those from three North American companies working together to build a cleaner, smarter, and more secure energy future. Their collaboration represents not just a technological leap forward, but a potential blueprint for reshaping the entire battery supply chain across the continent. The first company, Taurus, has taken a bold approach to the challenges of modern power management. Founded in South Salt Lake City, Utah, Taurus designs, engineers, and manufactures advanced energy storage and management systems that serve both commercial and industrial applications. Their technology is vertically integrated into the utility grid, meaning their systems are directly dispatched from transmission service operators, just like traditional power plants. But unlike massive coal or gas facilities, Taurus offers a modular solution, one that can be scaled from a few megawatts up to 100 and deployed almost anywhere. At the core of Taurus's approach lies a technology known as flywheel energy storage. Flywheels store energy in the form of rotational motion, delivering rapid bursts of power when needed while maintaining grid stability. Unlike chemical batteries, flywheels can respond to sudden fluctuations in milliseconds, making them ideal for maintaining frequency and voltage on the grid. They can also be paired with other forms of storage for longer duration applications, extending their discharge capability to two, four, or even six hours. This is where the company's flagship products, Nova Pulse and Shield, come in. Nova Pulse serves as a long duration dispatchable product, perfect for data centers or utilities, requiring stable, high power support. Shield, on the other hand, represents Taurus's commitment to cybersecurity. It protects energy infrastructure from both physical and digital threats, combining 24 7 video surveillance and infrared monitoring with defense mechanisms against DDoS attacks. According to the company, they currently intercept up to 5,000 cyber attacks every week on grid-connected systems. As energy grids become increasingly digital, such protection is no longer optional, it's essential. The uniqueness of Taurus's technology extends beyond performance. Every element of their supply chain is built within the United States, or within roughly 150 miles of their Utah headquarters. From hardware to firmware and software, every layer is designed and manufactured domestically. This focus on national supply resilience has become one of the defining themes of the post-globalization energy race, especially as geopolitical tensions have revealed vulnerabilities in overseas supply lines. Taurus's modular energy units differ sharply from the standard shipping container designs that dominate the market. These units aren't just more visually appealing, they're also built for higher performance. Inside, advanced fire suppression systems, specialized heating and cooling solutions, and cold floor designs ensure safety and efficiency. The systems are grid forming rather than grid following, which means they can create and stabilize local microgrids independently, providing reliable power even when disconnected from the main grid. Over the past year, their products have already been dispatched hundreds of times for frequency regulation and demand response events, a sign of growing confidence from utility operators. But while Taurus provides the structure and intelligence, the heart of any energy storage system is its battery. That's where Altium Technologies enters. Altium focuses on high-performance battery design, particularly lithium iron phosphate, known as LFP batteries. These batteries are prized for their safety, long life cycles, and stability, making them ideal for stationary storage and industrial use. Altium's specialty lies in crafting high-power, quick-response cells that can handle the rapid discharge rates required by systems like Taurus's flywheel-based architecture. The company doesn't limit itself to energy storage. Its experience extends into military, medical, and drone applications, fields that demand extreme reliability and power density. Altium designs and manufactures its batteries in North America, maintaining vertical integration from raw materials to finished products. That control allows them to innovate rapidly, refine performance, and respond to new market needs faster than competitors relying on overseas supply chains. Johnny's connection to lithium iron phosphate technology goes back decades, 
Nobel laureate John Goodenough originally developed LFP in the United States at the University of Texas. Johnny was part of the early commercial efforts to turn that discovery into a viable product. His company, Valence Technology, was among the first to build LFP powders and establish production in China when the technology was still emerging. Now, with Altium Technologies, he's bringing that expertise back home, determined to rebuild a fully domestic LFP supply chain that no longer depends on foreign producers. The foundation for that effort begins much farther north, in the mineral-rich lands of Quebec, Canada. There, a company called First Phosphate is mining one of the purest phosphate deposits on Earth. The rock, known as igneous anorthosite, is so rich and clean that nearly all of it can be refined into purified phosphoric acid, a key ingredient in LFP batteries. Traditionally, phosphate mining focused on sedimentary deposits used in fertilizers, but those are far less pure and often contaminated with unwanted materials. First, Phosphate's discovery of this nearly perfect natural source marked a turning point. According to the company's CEO, the rock is magnetic, containing traces of titanium and iron alongside phosphate. Through a complex extraction and refinement process, they separate these materials, purifying the phosphate into phosphoric acid while recovering iron as a byproduct. The purified acid is produced in partnership with the Belgian company Prayon, one of the world's largest suppliers of phosphoric acid. Meanwhile, the recovered iron is sent to GKN Hoganis in Tennessee, where it's converted into iron powder. That powder is then sent to Altium Technologies, where it's combined with phosphate to form iron phosphate, a critical precursor in the creation of LFP cathode materials. From there, lithium carbonate sourced from Nevada's Century Lithium completes the chemistry, producing the cathode active material that sits at the heart of every LFP cell. In this collaboration, every ingredient from the phosphate in Quebec to the lithium in Nevada comes from North American soil. Even the anode materials are locally sourced, using graphite from Nouveau Graphite in Montreal. The result is a battery built entirely from domestic resources, without relying on any imported critical minerals. This achievement could mark the first fully North American LFP battery ever produced. The partnership between Taurus, Altium Technologies, and First Phosphate has been in development for over two years. What makes their alliance so effective is not just proximity. Utah, Nevada, and Quebec are all within the Western Hemisphere, but shared values. Each company is committed to rebuilding domestic manufacturing, ensuring transparency, and protecting both the environment and the national power infrastructure. Their goal is to deliver end-to-end -end battery and energy storage solutions that are efficient, secure, and free from foreign dependency. Together, they represent a full vertical ecosystem. First, phosphate provides the upstream raw materials. Altium transforms those materials into high-power, specialized battery cells. And Taurus integrates those cells into advanced grid-forming storage systems that can support data centers, industrial sites, and utilities. Each company's contribution fills a crucial gap in the modern energy economy. In an era where nations are racing to secure resources and build resilient power systems, this alliance demonstrates what's possible when innovation, collaboration, and independence intersect. Flywheel-based systems like those built by Taurus also point toward a new era of power management. For data centers running high-performance GPUs or AI servers, even a millisecond of instability can cause massive disruptions. Traditional grids, powered by distant plants, simply can't deliver that kind of precision. But with local inertial storage, systems can catch power fluctuations within milliseconds, holding voltage and frequency steady. That level of responsiveness ensures consistent performance for sensitive equipment and eliminates costly production losses in automated manufacturing environments. For example, in high-precision machining or robotics, a single power blip can destroy a component worth tens of thousands of dollars. Taurus's technology eliminates that risk by maintaining consistent power quality, even when connected equipment demands sudden surges. This advantage is especially important as manufacturing and data operations become more automated and energy intensive. 
As governments push for cleaner power sources and localized production, the work of these three companies provides a practical roadmap. They've created not only a set of products, but a model of how a domestic clean energy ecosystem can function, from the mine to the grid. Their collaboration ensures that every stage of production, from raw materials to software integration, happens within North America, reinforcing both energy security and economic growth. The story of Taurus, Altium Technologies, and First Phosphate isn't just about technology. It's about rebuilding control over one of the most vital resources of the modern world, energy. Their innovations showcase the power of cooperation between industries that, when aligned, can accelerate the transition to sustainable power faster than any one company could achieve alone. As global demand for batteries continues to soar, the success of these pioneers may signal the beginning of a new independent era for North American energy production.